Here is a set of exercises you can do during your working day. It's really important to keep as active and as mobile as you can, particularly if you sit at a desk all day. So here's the first one. Exercise one is to tuck your chin in. It's to straighten out the top of your spine. So you're going to pull your head up and back so you get a nice double chin here and then out again. We're going to do that three times. Two, three. That's really important to straighten out the top of your spine because most of the day we all just sit too far down and in. Exercise number two is also to stretch your neck and you're just going to turn to look over each shoulder taking your chin round, drawing a semicircle with your chin and we're going to do that three times in each direction. There we go. Exercise number three is to get rid of that tension in your shoulders. So we're going to do five nice big shoulder rollings backwards and then five forwards. This next exercise is to stretch out the shoulders and the muscles in your forearms. You're going to put your hands out in front of you in a stop position and lift your arms up above your head and we're going to do that five times. And this helps release all that tension in your shoulders and stretch out the muscles in your forearm. And the next one, we're just going to do the same thing again, but turn your hands out sideways and take your arms out back behind you. And when you get to the back, squeeze your shoulder blades nice and tightly together. Again, most of the day, if you're not typing on a computer, you sit very down and in, and this helps stretch out the muscle in your forearm and gets all those muscles engaging in your upper back. And just one more of these. There we go. This next exercise is to stretch your back. If you sit all day or bending over patients, it's quite good to stretch your back in the opposite direction. So quite simply, you're going to put your hands in the small of your back and just bend backwards three times. Like so. Next exercise is to stretch out the side. So you're going to put one arm up above your head and you're going to do some nice side bends. And we're going to do five on each side. As you stretch over, try and get enough feel you that nice stretch down either side of your spine and get everything, all those muscles moving. And five times in each direction. And so. Next exercise is much on the spot for a minute. If you sit all day, it's really important to get up and moving about as much as you can. It helps improve our circulation, it helps ease aches and pains, it also helps regulate our blood pressure and our blood sugar. So maybe the march on the spot, or maybe walk to the toilet that's further away, or go to get moved to a kettle that's further away, just so you get up and moving as much as you can. Oh, so much pull, oh, and that's your minute. Exercise, we're going to do a side step and kick your bottom. So you're going to do a step to the side and kick your bottom up behind you. This is quite important because this gets all those muscles stretching down the front of each thigh, but also helps get your circulation moving and gets you up out of your chair. Again, do this one for 30 seconds. This next exercise is just stretch the muscles in your forearms. So put one arm out straight with your elbow straight, get your other hand and just bring your hand down to feel that nice stretch down the back of your forearm. Then go the other direction and then the other arm. This is important because if you sit and type a lot or have your hand on the mouse a lot, all these muscles down your forearms get tight. You can then just rotate your hands five in one direction and then five in the other direction. This next exercise, we're going to do alternate leg lunging. So you're going to put one foot out in front of the other and just drop down with the back leg. Just go as comfortably low as you can. The whole idea is you're trying to stretch out the muscles down the front of each hip, which if you sit a lot, they get tight 
and those muscles attach onto your lower back and that will make you more likely to get low back pain. So doing alternate leg lunging is a good way to help reduce back pain. And do this for 30 seconds. This next exercise we're going to do five squats. So again go as low as you comfortably can, stick your bottom out right behind you and make sure your knees don't go too far over your toes. When you get to the top, give your bottom muscles a nice squeeze. That will improve all the circulation and of course help prevent cellulite. This last exercise you need to, the edge of the desk to lean on. This is a really lovely one for getting rid of tension in your upper back and all down the back of your legs. So put your hands on the edge of the desk, put your feet back behind you and you're going to drop your head down between your arms so you're like an upside down L shape. So drop into that position, feel the stretch and then from there lift your head, drop your hips towards the floor and stretch in the opposite direction. And we're going to do this three times. which should take you approximately five minutes. Don't forget you don't have to do all of them all at once. You can do the odd one or two during the day. Whenever you feel like you're tired, you're losing concentration, just get up out of that chair and move as much as you can. <laughs>